seconds. And I'm half still sleeping. Um, and yeah, I know I'm not like a renowned physicist, but uh, I have some physics things to discuss on this segment. So, <laughs> you know, I guess you might say I'm into that sort of thing. Um, anyway, the thing I want to discuss now is uh, there is actually evidence to suggest um, that people are able, are capable of producing memories. Um, without being conscious, and I have a theory about this. The generally accepted theory is that said people um, are simply unaware that they are producing memories, even though the people are unconscious. My theory for this is existence as higher functioning beings um, is based on two levels of memory production. The first level is only conscious when we are conscious, which is to say um, as I'm looking as I'm looking at you right now at the camera, um, I myself am the first level of consciousness. I'm not conscious of anything else in the room. Um, nothing else matters except for this camera. Um, the second part of memory, the second exist, the second basis of memory is the uh, always conscious. Basically, that's the pretty much um, what defines us as higher functioning beings um, in that it's the side of human existence that is always conscious, conscious of everything in the room, even when we are asleep. I believe that anyone can access these memories um, so long as they can break down the genetic barriers um, that prevent us up from otherwise accessing the memories. Um, that's my theory anyway. There could be multiple out there. Um, but, uh, you know, a comment if you think you have another idea. Um, but, uh, probably going to be doing a few more of these segments. This is the first one I've tried, so. Well, I think it's been pretty successful, so I'm going to do a few more like that. <coughs> so, I do.